One thing I've learned is don't be deceived when it looks nice outside. That means it's freezing cold. Using my sweet new North Face backpack for the first time today. I still haven't even gone through like the majority of my stuff. This is going in there because it's freezing cold and I'm going to eat. Me and Vlad have been playing FIFA and uh, who's been winning, Vlad? Uh, now I don't know. Now it's pretty close. Yeah. I think I think I may be up one game, maybe. We're, we're having some pretty heated battles, yeah. that, that's for sure. We got one more, FC Barcelona versus Real Madrid. I'm Barcelona, you're Madrid. Good luck. Good luck and fun. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> Vlad and I played a lot of games of FIFA. I think overall, I came out on top. I also cashed in on my PinQuest app and I got uh, some gold ones, which is pretty sweet. It's been incredibly cold here and as a result of that, my camera actually has not been working. It will record for like 10 seconds and then stop, no matter what I do. And all of the rooms here, all of the buildings are incredibly cold as well because the majority of them, like where we were playing, uh, playing video games and pool and whatnot, they're, they're temporary structures only here for the games and then they're gonna be gone. So I think they were like 12 or 13 degrees or something. It's freezing cold. Here's one of the, it's one of the gold pins. Really nice, didn't focus on it, but it is nice. And here's the other one, really nice too. Also, those are going in here. Pin collector, oh yeah, well, that makes sense. I almost have all of them. I think for all intents and purposes, today was the last day that uh, that will be pretty chill here in the village because tomorrow I've got a team captain's meeting at the track. We've got a track walk tomorrow night. Not paid training. We have some additional training we can do as of uh, the 7th, which means that today is kind of the last day to to have just lounged around like I've been doing. The environment here is, how do I explain it? You can't really explain the environment. It's so unique and it's so, you've got the world's best athletes of each sport. Now, there's some really good athletes that aren't here because of the selection criteria for all sports. It, the Olympics are a celebration of sport is basically what happens. The IOC has done what they can to guarantee the best showing they can they can offer for for spectators of what sport is and what sport is supposed to do for communities in and around the world. It's supposed to bring the world together. And so when I'm at lunch, it's just sensory sensory overload to the max. Uh oh, everywhere you look, you know that these athletes, these people, are incredibly skilled at what they do. And then all of the colors and all the team kits and all of the cool shoes and designer things that, and everyone's wearing something new almost every every chance they can get it's a really cool environment and everyone's friendly and all of the volunteers are incredible everywhere you go people are just here to help you and the athletes also what's really cool I don't think I've shown this yet this is a coke fob for all of the coke machines there's Powerade water sprite cola and free for as much as you want. It's really hard to not indulge. I need to go through and uh, label all my stuff because now that I got, oh my shoes are out front. Now that I got my shoes and boots sorted out, they actually fit. They were a size and a half too small, but now we're good. Now they fit and now I can label everything that's mine because every Australian has the exact same stuff as me. That's a recipe for loss and mass confusion. Sharpie label time. Where do I put this stuff? So you gotta do it in a spot that's secret and gonna last so that... I guess I'll put it right in front. It's mine now. It was mine before, but now it's officially mine. North face, next one. I'd like to label it. Yeah, this is a good spot. I'll give you a tour. 
of the condo of the apartment. We got some really great hand-drawn, don't know who it's from, signs from school kids above every bed in all the rooms. The little patio thing where I've got my excess jackets. I come out here. All of the walls are covered. And I'm pretty sure that that is in order to keep them from getting wrecked because all of this is being sold or has been sold. This is the bathroom. Pretty nice bathroom. Very sweet. I have no idea what this is for. It does nothing. Sure it'll work later. This, this kitchen, these kitchens, uh, well the whole place has heated floors and the floors don't feel very solid. They're like a very, very dense, flexible. I don't really know how to describe it. it just, it's like a little soft, it's a little soft. This is all covered, marble stuff. All this is covered. <laughs> there, is, there is a stove I'd imagine under here. There's a sink here that no one is allowed to use. There's, Cupboards here. Not really sure what's in here. Oh, electrical room of sorts. A multi. I don't know how windows work. Okay, moving on. Wi Fi. You don't need that. That's a really small fridge. Really small fridge. More cheering on athletes. Another bathroom, more bedrooms. More signs, more signs. Clearly not finished. And those are my new, my new New Balance shoes that, that I got, that I just got s sorted and sized today. So they fit really nice, fit perfectly. <laughs> That's a tour of this athlete accommodation, coach accommodation. I've got coach beside me, not arrived yet as per not unpacking. I think we're gonna go for dinner soon. Hopefully I'll be able to show some of that. It's been a really chill day. Can I dig this hat? Back, oh man. Back from dinner and it's uh, already 11 o'clock. Those dinners just kind of go by really fast, especially because the dinner hall is open 24 hours a day. So there's a lot of time that can be killed there because you never really have to leave. I'm just going to end it there. Keep it simple. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you check in tomorrow and check out day four at the Olympics. Good night. Today's five seconds of gratitude is for being able to hang out with and meet all the athletes from all the various sports.